Hey everybody, Mike Freeland coming at you on November the 2nd. Looking like E.T., right? Just out enjoying the morning, getting me a morning stroll in. It's really strong overcast. Um, but they're talking about by midweek, 75 degrees here in Maryland. That's a good November day for you anyway. I just wanted to do this quick video while I'm out and about. Um, I was talking to someone over this weekend, and we were talking about business, and uh, he's in a business that's different from mine, but the bottom line is we were both talking about what it is when we talk to people, you know, um, some of the information that they share with us. And we got on a subject about, you know, what is most people why? Why do people do what they do? I mean, everybody has a why in something or another. There's always a why, you know. So we just kind of looked at it from a working standpoint. Now, by that I mean there's two types of whys. There's your employee's why. There's your employee's why. And then there's your entrepreneur or your business owner's why. Now, your employee's why kind of goes something like this. Well, why do you get up and go to work every day? Well, what's your why for that? Well, I have a family and I have kids to take care of. I have a husband or a spouse. We both work. One of us is working. So the other one is pulling the slack right now. You know, we have to home to take care of, we have bills that need to be paid, you know, groceries. So what's the plus side of getting up on that why? Well, you know, we work 40 hours a week, you know, salary, so if I don't go in one day, I still get paid, or, you know, I'm working to get me some vacation time so I can go away for a week, or if I'm really lucky and been in a company long enough, you know, I get two weeks vacation, and so I can go, you know, in July, and then I can go in August, and, you know, these are, these are your employee-wise, you know, wherein your entrepreneur or your business owner why is kind of like this. Well, what's your why? Why do you own a business? Well, you know, I like that extra income that comes in, whether I'm doing anything or not. You know, I, I like the idea of building a business and building a team of leaders, you know, and on those days that I don't want to do anything, that residual income that you can't get from working a job comes in, you know, uh, I can take a vacation anytime I want. Oh, yeah, it's hard. It's a hard thing. You just can't get into it and sit back and don't think anything, think it's all going to happen on its own. No, 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 no. You got to put in some effort. But the reward is so much better. You know, nobody's telling me what to do. I don't have to punch a clock every day. Or I can go in, you know, just sit in the office for a couple of hours, make sure everything is going as it's supposed to. And then in the summertime, you know, I can go to the golf course and get in 18 holes because the office is still back there running, making me money. Or, you know, open a day for baseball, I can leave the office and go and watch my team play. You see, those are the whys for business owners and entrepreneurs. Now think about it. You're still at the office, you know, trying to get that 40 hours in, trying to get that vacation time in, you know, taking care of those businesses or your, your home expenses, I should say. And the, on the other hand, the business owner or the entrepreneur, he has you at the office why he goes do whatever or she goes do whatever they want to do, you know, golf or whatever it is, and they know back there their why is no bigger than your why or no greater, but their thought process in the why is a lot different, meaning they, they have set it up so that they can go and do what they want to do and enjoy 8, 10, 12 hours a day doing what they want to do, why they have you sitting in an office or whatever it is that you do, you know, 8, 10, 12 hours a day doing that, which is still going to put money in their pocket. 
So that's the difference in the why. So why am I saying all of this? You right now that are watching this video, whether you're a business owner or whatever, you have a why. And so you just have to determine whether you want to run your whys as an employee or do you want to run your whys as a business owner. So you have to ask yourself, you know, which why do you like? Which why is more favorable to you? <clears throat> do you want the why that's going to keep you getting up every morning, whether you want to or not? You know, go punching a clock. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with punching a clock or having a job. That is a blessing because you need it to survive. But don't be suckered in into the fact of believing that's the only way. You know, because there are other ways there. Once you get the fear out of the situation about making change, you know, you can start doing things to benefit yourself, your family, on a different level. You know, wouldn't you like it? You know, if you could take a cruise whenever you wanted, you know, how about taking or doing a trip, not, not all the time planned, you know, not all the time a planned trip, but an impulsive trip. You know, you just wake up and say, hey, you know what? I want to book a flight. I want to book a cruise, you know, for the next 10 days, the next, you know, nine day cruise to wherever, you know, and I book it and I can leave on Friday, this coming Friday and be back, whatever. You know, just that impulsive, impulsiveness of being able to do that, you know, just like that as opposed to, you know, having to plan it way out and, then have to build, you know, have to send your deposit, and then you have to send a deposit by this deadline. You have to do this and that. Wouldn't you like the joy and satisfaction of doing that just one time? That's all I'm talking about. So what's your why? I mean, you know, we now have, you know, there are people that are looking for other opportunities besides their nine to five, you know, to help take care of home. And that's what it's all about. So that's pretty much what I wanted to say. I mean, read the information uh, that's attached to this video. And if it sounds like, um, you know, this is something that interests you, sound like I just called your name, you know, my contact information is there. Get back with me and let's talk about it. Take care. Have a blessed day. And we'll see you on the other side of money. All right, everybody. Back in from my um, walkout. And I want to show you guys, <clears throat> put together this chart really quick um, to give you guys a good idea about what's going on and why you really need to focus on a why and why you do what you do. So anyway, here is a breakdown of what we have um, as it relates to, oops, sorry about that. Here's a breakdown as to what we have, um, and this is based on whether you're making forty or you're based on you're making forty thousand dollars a year. Now, doing that, you're going to have twenty six pay periods, right? And out of the twenty six pay periods, this is what you're going to get pretty much every pay period. <clears throat> now, we just rounded all of this off just to make it easier, but you'll get the idea. Um, your taxes, FICA, benefits, and all of that's going to equal about $500 a month uh, or pay. So that's twice a month. And then you're going to have pretty much a $1,000 uh, $1, uh, from each pay period left over. Now, here's your rental mortgage. And you know in most cases this is not true. It's a lot more than that. But here's your rent mortgage. Then by the time you do food, utilities, and I haven't even put everything, that's another $1,000. And this is what you'll be left over. How can you live with this being left over? So what do you do? Well, if you have a spouse or what have you, you know, perhaps their income comes in handy. But if you're, if it's just you, uh, you're, you're, you're in a pretty bad situation with just this at the end of every month. So there goes a part-time job, two, two part-time jobs, or whatever it is that you need to do to try to make ends meet, borrow from others, or whatever it is. So. And let me show you guys, and you already know, or you can see other videos that talk specifically about what it is that we do. But let me show you the power of the system that I'm a part of, or the business that I'm a part of, and how you can do this and more. Okay. I want you to focus really quick on 
here where it says the second and fourth, which would be the blue and the um, the blue second and fourth right here. Um, and this is for our company if you just did a minimum of $25 uh, a month. Now keep in mind, you bring in the first person, you're going to get paid $25. You bring in the second person that's going to go to your sponsor. You bring in the third person, you fourth person, your sponsor. Anything after that you bring in, they all come to you. But we don't. We're not even going to discuss that right now. Here's what happens. See the way your second and fourth gets passed up. Well, these two here that you kept, each one of their second and fourths get passed up to you. Okay, which would be you right here. So think about this. Each time their second and fourth passed up to you, second and fourth, passed up to you, second and fourth of this person, passed up to you, second and fourth of this person, passed up to you, so forth and so on. All of this red would be passed up to you. So let's look real quick at how many people you would need, and I can assure you, you will go beyond that, but how many people you will need to get to that same um, uh, $2,000 that you had to kind of spend or, or your your salary um, with this system. So here's what you need in order to get to that two thousand dollars. Eighty people total in the group. Whether you bring extra people in or you just work with these four people, helping them get there, four and so forth and so on. Eighty people minimum. But this is going to snowball. It's, it has a tremendous snowball effect, and it will go far beyond that. If each of them, your two pass-ups, get a minimum of 40 people, that's your, your 80 right there. So what do we do? We work with our team to get them to that level, to get them there for and help them duplicate and duplicate. It's just simple duplication, simple math duplication, and you can go far beyond. Now, I have other charts that you can see uh, within my other videos that will have you losing sleep, but this is just, this is the bare minimum for in order to do that that same forty thousand a year after taxes after all of your benefits and you paid off all, you know your bills and everything and what you were left with well you paid off and then to have to do your bills and everything ladies and gentlemen this is a powerful opportunity look at my other videos where you can get into more detail but i just wanted to show you 80 people, $25 residual income month after month. And of course, they're going to continue to build. So it's going to grow each month. This is something you guys want to take a look at. It's Mike Freeland. Take care. Have a blessed day. And as always, we'll see you on the other side of money.